Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today we're gonna to be setting up an Instagram feed in your Oxygen Builder website that is basically completely custom. So you have a lot of flexibility with this. It's not a paid plugin. This was built by Taylor Drayson, who we'll talk about in just a minute. And this is really neat. So this is a great alternative to some of the freemium Instagram feed plugins out there. So what you're looking at on the screen is a very basic setup, but essentially almost everything on the page here is built using a short code. So we have this user's profile picture. This is Mighty Car Mods, if any of you guys are car fans. So you have two different options, two different attributes in the short code for the profile picture. It can either be this small size or there's an HD size, which just of course makes it bigger. Then you also have a short code for their bio, their follower count. You also have two built-in options for the layout. So you can do a grid like this, or you can do a slider. So we're gonna set all of this up, of course, and it's very simple to do. Now, of course, all of this stuff came from their Instagram page directly, and none of this required authentication, which is neat. So it returns it in a JSON format, it caches it, and it all works really, really well. If we switch over here to Oxygen real quick, you can see this is just a regular heading. There's nothing fancy here. I just simply typed this out. This short code is the user profile picture, like I mentioned. Then of course you could switch this to HD and essentially it just gives you a larger version once it renders. There we go. Now you can see there is the larger version so you can choose whichever one you want there. Then the other one you have here is the bio short codes. There, there's that, the image went away for some reason. Let me try to fix that. Should just come right back, there it is. And then you also have the followers and the following. So both of those attributes of course come straight from here so you can see their followers and following 563,000. Doesn't give you the precise number there on the front end on the actual Instagram page, but in the back end here it does. Then with the feed grid, this is just a, a short code feed grid or feed slider. You have a couple attributes like post count and a few more we'll look at here on GitHub so you can see all of the available options. And then in the back end, although the slider doesn't appear, it does work on the front end. There is a little bit of custom code that's all provided for you, but we'll get that working in just a little bit. So like I mentioned, this is built by Taylor Drayson, and if you don't know him, he's a super active member of the Oxygen community. He also was the one that helped me come up with the dark mode um, tutorial here on my channel. He is building a design set pack for Oxygen, so it's called Foxy Blueprints, as you can see. Go ahead and visit his website, subscribe to the list to get notified when it's set up. He is currently in development of this, so I hope that we'll see this in the very near future because I'm super excited about it. So I wanted to give him a shout out because he also essentially came up with this entire tutorial. He built the back end and then told me about it, and so I'm just happy to be making a video on this because not only is it useful, but it also helps support him, which is cool. So here is the GitHub link that has all of the need to know information for this particular functionality to make it work inside of your Oxygen website. So the main bit of code is inside of this index.php. Now what you're going to do is take this code, which is right here, and if you're using code snippets, which is the free plugin for WordPress, you're gonna start copying at line number three. You don't need this top PHP part. You're just gonna go line three all the way down to the bottom. This code, you're basically just going to stick into code snippets. And then there's a few things you need to pay attention to here. So your Instagram ID, as you can see right here, is Mighty Car Mods, and that is exactly what you'll find in this person's URL. So you basically just take that and you come over here back to your snippet and pop that in. Now, one thing you'll need to watch out for is that there is this transient cache right here. So this is going to last basically an entire day. That's the number of seconds, so 24 hours essentially and that is going to cache the feed. So every time your page loads, it's not pulling from Instagram, which does make a noticeable impact on your page load speed, at least just from a visual perspective, this helps quite a bit. So what you need to do here is if you decide to change the name, you misspell it or something like that, you essentially need to comment out line 16 with these two slashes. And then you also need to come down here to line 18 with those two slashes. You change the name to whatever you want, save the code snippet, go view the site on the front end in Oxygen, then come back here and you need to then remove the slash on six and then remove the slash on 18 like that. Again, you'll just save your code snippet. Then we'll just go view it on the front end and nothing's gonna change in our case, but that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and start this from a totally blank install and we'll get everything rolling. So the first thing that you'll do on your WordPress install is go get the code snippets plugin. So this is totally free. There's a few others out there like advanced scripts that are extremely good, but they are paid. So I'm gonna stick with code snippets for the sake of this video. And what we're gonna do is just go to snippets and add new. Again, in the GitHub link, you're going to copy that index.php. You're just gonna stick that in here. 
Then what we need to do is change the Insta ID. So by default, it's Nike. So let's just go ahead and leave that for now. And then there's nothing else that we need to change. So we'll just come down here, click Save Changes and Activate. And I forgot to give it a title, so I'm just gonna call this Insta Feed. And I wanna save it again one more time. So now let's go into Oxygen. Anywhere you want, this can live. It can be on your templates, pages, anywhere. So I'm just gonna put it in my site-wide template for now. So by now you well know after watching this channel that we're not gonna make this look pretty, but it is totally gonna to be functional. So we're just gonna essentially do the same thing that we did before, which was just say like follow us on Instagram and then add a bit of margin underneath this. We'll go with 16 pixels. I'm gonna to toss in a short code. And if you remember from earlier, the first thing we had was the profile picture. So if we come back over here, in this description here, you can see there's all the different short codes and their attributes. So the main one is Insta feed user equals then the attribute name. So this can be any of these options here. Their bio, followers, following, profile picture, display name, etc. So let's just go ahead and copy this. We'll go stick it in our short code. And of course, there's no attribute name here. So let's just go with like user underscore PP for profile photo. And there's the Nike logo. Then let's go ahead and add 16 pixels under here. We'll stick in another short code, paste that guy in, and then this time we'll just switch it to bio. Then again, we can just add in another short code. I'm just gonna duplicate this to make it easy and we'll just change this to followers. So 141 million followers, that's a lot. Now we'll go ahead and add in a section to give ourselves some breathing room here and we'll stick in the first of these grids. So let's go back over here and you can see to use the grid, all you gotta do is just copy the short code right here. And we're gonna stick in another short code right inside of here. I'm gonna remove that space. And there's the grid for you right out of the box. So this is of course the basic styling, but we can do a couple things here to make this much easier to style however you want. So a couple other attributes you have for your grid short code here. If we come back over, you can see there's the option to show the caption. You can also give the grid or the slider its own class for customization purposes. And you can also tell it how many posts you want. So the default is 12. You can set it obviously, as you can see to six or whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and switch this over to our caption equals true. So if we click on our short code, we can just type caption equals true. And then there we go. So that does mess up the layout, but we can control that pretty easily. Now, one thing I'm going to do real quick is save this and let's go back to our WordPress admin panel and under oxygen settings, we're gonna turn on selector detector because this is going to help us style that stuff on the front end much more easily. So now that we have that turned on, let's just go ahead and refresh. Okay, so we're back in Oxygen now and we need to do a couple of things. So first of all, we're gonna to go to our short code here. We're gonna to go to layout and then we're just gonna set this to flex. Then we're gonna to go to row, we're gonna set space between and then we're gonna set this to wrap. Now, of course, that still doesn't look quite right but this is going to allow us to configure our Instagram wrapper class in just a moment and that will give us that grid layout and it will also let you customize it as you wish. So now when we turn on selector detector, if we click off the short code and come back, you'll notice there's this option down here for style output. So if we go ahead and click on that, I'm just gonna choose the image here and you see this class called Insta Wrapper. If I click on that, then that little green line now highlights everything. I have the image and I have the caption there. So we'll go to our size and spacing and let's set the width to something like 33%. And now you can see I have my own grid here, which is super cool. The benefit of this is that you can change it to whatever you want. So if you want it to be like a multi-column layout, let's say of a four instead of a three, you could change it to like 24% wide, 25, whatever you want to. You could even go as low as, well, maybe not 15, but you get the idea. You can play with this. So five wide does mostly fit there, but I think I'll go 33%. That looks pretty reasonable. You probably would also want to add some margin beneath the images. So let's say something like 16 pixels. And then maybe you want some padding of like 15 on the insides. Then of course you could also go back to your layout tab and you could do something like flex, then column, then center and make everything centered. So that's starting to look fairly reasonable. And then the other thing is if we go back to our section and we click back in our short code so we get to the style output option again, we can also choose our caption which has its own class. So then if you wanted to go to the Instagram caption div, you could go to typography and set that to center like that. Perhaps you would want a little bit of spacing here so you can do a couple of things. You don't have to keep going back and forth like I just did from the section to the short code. You can also go to manage, selectors, uncategorized. And here's the two that we were just modifying. So Instagram wrapper and the caption div to get back to ones that you've modified. 
Let's say we want, um, is 16 pixels of margin on the top too much? It looks okay. So there we go. Now we have our own custom grid, which is really awesome. So then the other thing is it might be a little bit long if you have all 12 posts showing there. So we could just simply adjust our short code at this point. So we have caption equals true. And the other attribute was post underscore count equals and then whatever the number is. So six in this case, we need to put our little guys there. So there we have a count of six. And now you can see that our grid is much smaller. We only have the six posts based on the attribute there. Okay, cool. So we have the grid set up. Now let's go ahead and try to get the slider working. So I'm going to open my structure panel real quick and let's just go back to section short code. And if we go back over here to the documentation, the slider is insta feed feed slider. So we'll pop that in. Now you do need a code block to make this work. So the proper way to do this is if we go back here and come up, then you're going to see this index.html. Now this is the code that you need to make the slider work from the demo earlier. Now, the proper way to do it is to enqueue these scripts with something like the plugin, like my custom functionality. But in this case, I'm just going to stick this in a code block and it's going to work perfectly fine. Again, probably not the proper way to do this, but just to show you how it works, we'll apply that code. And then now basically what this is doing is pulling in the JS and the CSS for the slider, making a slight little tweak to the next and the before button. So you can change this color if you want. And then this is the actual slider JavaScript right here. So what I'll do is just go ahead and save and let's take a look on the front end here. And I have a slight issue. What is my problem? Okay. So I figured it out. You had to set the width on the short code to something other than zero. So this can't be unset. You need to set it to hundred percent width or whatever width you actually want it to be. And voila, now we have the slider on our page as you can see. So perfect. So this is working really well. Now, of course, this is relatively basic, but the benefit here is that you can use all the familiar oxygen tools to customize this to your heart's content. It is definitely flexible and it's totally free, which is great. Now, one thing I wanted to mention as well is that we do need to modify this grid layout that we built just a little bit ago on mobile devices. So that's really simple. I already showed you, of course, how to get back to your selector. So let's just do that again. We're gonna go back to our Insta wrapper here. And then what we wanna do is let's say at 1120, that still looks reasonable. At 992, we're gonna set the width to 50%. There we go, 50%. And then probably at 768, we're gonna set this width to 100. And then everything is going to wrap and it will collapse just fine. So now you have your mobile layout for your Instagram feed set up as well. So then let's go ahead and take a look at our short code on the front end for the slider at what that looks like. So on mobile, as you can see, it looks like this, probably worth going ahead and centering that content. Okay, so I finally got it to work on mobile. All I wanted it to do was just essentially center the image when it drops to the one picture per slide. And that's really easy to do. All that I did was in my code block that we added earlier under the CSS tab, I typed dot slick dash slide IMG. And then did the curly braces, of course, and margin left is auto and margin right is auto as well. And that worked like a treat. So hopefully this is interesting to you. This is cool for me because I have used those uh, kind of like freemium Instagram plugins before and they mostly work fine. Uh, so if this is something that you are intrigued by, definitely let me know. If you're going to use it, what your thoughts are, I would really appreciate that feedback. As always, my name is Jonathan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.